morning, ESM. I'm Luke. And I'm John. John, have you ever heard of a sport that no one talks about? No, I've never heard anyone talk about it. Well, we're about to find out. Find some out after news. Tonight's presidential debate between Joe Biden versus Donald Trump will start at 9 p.m. on all broadcast and cable news networks. The debate will be hosted at the Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, by Fox News anchor Chris Wallace. This debate is the first of three leading up to the election on November 3rd, and the debate will be broken up into 15-minute segments covering their reports, the coronavirus pandemic, the Supreme Court, race and violence in the cities, the integrity of the election, and the economy. The second and third debates will happen on October 15th and the 22nd. The vice presidential debate will occur on October 7th and will be hosted by USA Today's Washington bureau chief, Susan Page. 19-year-old Elizabeth Garrow was found dead on September 27th after being missing since last Wednesday. Elizabeth was a mom of one and was found to be pregnant again when her body was discovered. Her husband, George McDonald, was arrested and charged with violating probation. The charge is not related to his wife's disappearance. This week in Wang Young, a kindergarten teacher from Beijing, China, was sentenced to death after being found guilty of poisoning 25 of her students using porridge laced with nitrate. According to her sources, there was an argument between her and another student on how to best handle the students, which led to her putting nitrate in their porridge. Nitrate is a carcinogen used in many fertilizers and explosives, says the CDC. In high enough doses, it can cause the human body to stop absorbing oxygen. Luckily, she was found out after one student had died. The other students were able to receive treatment before the major symptoms had set in. Wang had previously attempted to murder her husband after an argument in February of 2017. She was also caught after he had experienced minor symptoms. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. If you plan to take the PSAT on October, I'm sorry, the PSAT, not PSAT, on October 17th, the deadline to fill out the Google form and submit payment is Thursday, October 1st. Please be sure that you have both filled out the form and dropped off payment at the welcome booth by that time. Attention all varsity football players. The first skill practice will be held tonight at 6 o'clock. Bring a water bottle and meet Coach Depard on the, on the grass, JV football field, with Coach uh, with Coach Eschbacher and contact him with any questions. All right, so our first abstract sport of the day is flip cup. No, did you even read the script? No. Okay, well, I'm not surprised. But here's yet another thing that makes me and probably all of you question in England. Uh, the sport is shin kicking. Yes, this strange English martial arts competition is a real thing. Basically, it's just where two people uh, kick each other in the shin until one falls over and falls on the ground. Well, that's um, a little violent. Yeah, I wanted to uh, say because it makes me dislike England more. Well, that's fair. People okay. competing have to wear track suits, and the competition is sometimes judged by people called sticklers. Yeah, I get why no one talks about this sport very much. I'm surprised Google even uh, was showed it in the first place, to be honest. Well, enough about England. Let's go to weather. No, I want to keep making sure. <laughs> As you can see here, throughout the day, we will have some showers, and later in the day, on the east and west, we will have heavier showers. And as you can see over here, Tuesday, we will have a high of 67 and a low of 53, with rain throughout the whole entire day, with Sunday being our best day to be outside. Welcome back. Uh, John, what, uh, what odd sport did you uh, prepare today? So this sport is also from Europe. It's, uh, it's actually from Scotland originally, mm -hmm. but it's now people play it all over the world, including me. Oh boy, here we go. The Highland Games, also known as the Scottish Games. Oh wow, please indulge us on, uh, on this, yeah. Oh, with pleasure. 
So the Highland Games is a competition with a bunch of different um, competitions, sorry. Um, usually including archery, which is, that's a picture of me doing archery. Cool. Axe throwing, log toss, stone throw, atlas stone, and spear throw. Are you done yet? Not in the slightest. So traditionally, everyone wears a kilt for the games, and in that picture, I was wearing my kilt, and uh, bagpipes are played. Are you done now? Jeez, pushy much? Yes. Yes, I'm done. Okay, good. Now on to real sports that people probably actually care about. Dion Walters is said to have Waiters is said to ha get a ring regardless of who wins the NBA Finals. Waiters started the season with the Miami Heat and ended with the Lakers. In the eyes of the league, he was part of both teams this year, therefore guaranteeing him a ring no matter what. In NFL news, Chargers cornerback Qu Chris Harris Jr. has to miss up to six weeks after a foot injury from their loss to the Panthers. Yesterday, the Chiefs beat the Ravens 34 to 20 making the Chiefs 3-0. Patrick Mahomes threw for 385 passing yards, four passing touchdowns, and one rushing touchdown. Patrick Mahomes is one of the two quarterbacks in Monday Night Football history to throw for five passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown twice in their career on Monday night. He is tied with, the Bru with Drew Brees for first place. Well, I hope you guys... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have a homework assignment for y'all. Go online, find some abstract sport, check it out, and tell me about it, and maybe we'll put it on the show sometime. No, don't listen to him. We're not doing that. Maybe you enjoy the show. I, uh, I know I did it because of him. Uh, oh. I just liked talking bad about British people, but you know what? You gonna, you gonna finish this? Have a good day.